Hey, welcome to my new video. A little bit of intro. So a while ago when I just started this channel, I posted my first video ever, what locals do in Alaska. And my channel had zero subscribers, zero videos on it. And it kind of blew up, which was a surprise. Like I have thousands of views on it and it's still getting steady interest and people writing comments asking me questions so i've decided to make this video to kind of summarize my experience living in Juneau, alaska so let's get to it altogether i lived in alaska for five years and i want to say that i've lived in Juneau, alaska and it's worth mentioning that it's in a southeast part of alaska and it does not look like what you will imagine here in alaska it's not um, always super cold, uh, snow everywhere, ice and stuff. It's mostly wet there. It's a southern part and it's gray and wet, rainy, cloudy. And there are some statistics for you. So 10 year temperature average during the coldest months, which is February, is 24 Fahrenheit, which is minus four Celsius. So it doesn't sound too bad, right? Now the hardest part, only 44 days out of the whole year are sunny days, which include fully sunny and up to 30% coverage of the cloud. Partially sunny days from 40 to 70% of the sky during daytime, 41. So that leaves us to 280 days out of the whole year, fully cloudy, at least 80% cloud coverage. So that's more than nine months more than nine months, you basically don't see the sun. So with little sprinkle of these facts, my subjective thoughts on it, that was a huge factor for me as I personally am very dependent of the sun. I need sun to function and it definitely took toll on my mental health living there. And knowing next fact, I want to say to other people, oh, Talking about rain, it starts raining here. I hope you still can hear me. Let's keep on moving. Definitely think it affects other people as with Alaska being the least populated state, it takes second place nationwide by the suicide rate. Is it coincidence? I don't know, but maybe the sun affects not just me. Before living there, I used to say, I don't mind rain, I don't mind clouds, and even my friends who never visited Juneau or Alaska, they will say, so what, it's not a big deal. Uh, it was a big deal to me. My mental health was struggling really bad. I had to go on medication. No amount of vitamin D pills help you, helped me. So that was my experience with that. Next one for me, I was born and grew up in a big city. I was born in Kyiv and it's a big European capital. The whole lifestyle is extremely different. So Kyiv has a lot of history, arts, culture and Juno is 30,000 people population which doubles in summertime because of the seasonal workers coming. Uh, but it's steady 30,000 population and it has no roads out. Therefore, all the things I'm used to and I love are totally absent there. I lived in Seattle as well for four years total and even Seattle wasn't big enough for me. I love uh, late night walks with friends, tons of different cafes, galleries, museums, city parks, all the good stuff. And in Juno there is no such a thing. It becomes dead around 7 p.m. Lights go off in the houses, not much to do except for a couple bars, which aren't my thing as well because I don't drink that much. So I definitely struggled with what to do on my free time. People do hike there, I'm not much of a hiker either, I don't care much for mountains, I'm more of a water person, so it's subjective, it's my experience, it's what I like. Right now I'm going there to visit family once a year and it's just enough for me. Other cons I'm gonna mention is uh, lack of fresh produce, everything is brought there, vegetables, fruits, therefore the prices are higher. Uh, on food, then there is 
The community is kind of smaller with a certain lifestyle that I'm not really about and again no roads out, uh, very slow tempo of living, short days, uh, that'll be my wrap up of cons of my life in June, Alaska. To summarize it, I want to say that while living there, I definitely got to know myself better. I really realized what I don't want to be doing in my life, what I don't like, uh, what I need. And being there, I went through the hardest time of my life. I had really bad episodes where I felt like I'm in a jail and there is no way out. And I did have to get on a medication for my mental health for the first time of my life. Plenty of therapy. That's what helped me survive through all those times. Now onto pros I experienced there. Yes, there are some. Seafood. Oh my gosh. I don't eat meat, I'm pescatarian, so I'm a huge seafood junkie. So fresh salmon and crab and caviar, I miss it tons for sure. I got to experience many once in a lifetime things like walking on a frozen lake to ice caves. I was staying in a cabin in the middle of nowhere with no service for days and it was absolutely beautiful. I was also working at a restaurant on top of the mountain so I had to take this tram up and down every day and it was the most romantic part about uh, my job. And then casually seeing bears by the roads or outside of your house, it was pretty cool too. And very personal and very big uh, pro of my experience in Juno is that I had this period of my life where I was all by myself with no friends, no family, fully on my own for the first time and I did manage to survive, I even managed to save money for moving to another state, made it out alive and thriving, so it was hard. Would I want to experience it again? Probably not, but I'm pretty proud of myself. Now, to draw a line under the Alaskan chapter of my life, I want to say it takes a certain person to enjoy that lifestyle, which is not me. As I said, it's very subjective, my experience is very subjective. Maybe you're an outdoorsy person who just loves fishing and hunting or hiking all day every day and doesn't need much of a social life or cultural um, time spending. So maybe it is you, but it's not me and it's totally fine. And there is this concept of people are not being happy and they keep moving because they think it's the place, it's not them. And they keep being unhappy, they keep moving, basically running away from themselves. But I want to tell you that sometimes it's just a place. So get to know yourself, get therapy, learn to differentiate those two. Sometimes it's just a place because I've been guilt tripped a lot. I've been told that I don't appreciate things, that uh, I'm ungrateful, I gotta change perspective and literally sometimes it's just a place. So I'm really hoping you're happy where you are and drop any comments, questions about living in June, Alaska or elsewhere or about being homeless like I am right now and just staying in different places. So ask anything that's interesting for you and I'll see you in my next video. If you made it this far in this video, make sure you like it, subscribe and I'll see you next time.